Well, hello, man cavers. Looks like we've got a half decent day to be doing in the van. Roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. Right, man cavers, armed with panel wipe and grey scotch bright. We're going to just nip over some areas that we need to address, which is really all the bits I didn't do with the DA, which is basically this foamy edge, this molded edge around here getting right down into your handles so you've got no shiny paint round your lock and then right above into these plastic trims ah, get right on your edges guys because that's where your paint's going to flake away from and you don't want that flaking away, do you? Yeah. Right down the edge here. Right down beside that indicator. And around the front here a little bit. There we go guys, so I think now we need to panel wipe that off with a clean rag, then we can start masking up. So here we go, soak our rag with panel wipe. Yeah. We have it. We have one scotch broided side masking up time. All right, here we go with our one inch tape. We want to do a little mask inside the door shut before we shut the door. Just so I'll show you a little trick. Here's your masking tape, right? Stick at the end of your fingers, bend the two ends over, pull it tight, then rub it on your leg. And there you have a back mask. See the tape's folded over on itself? And that'll give you a nice edge, so you don't have a sharp edge. That'll just be a nice edge for the paint. Then you can tuck him in there. And then you won't have a hard paint edge. Which is perfect. It doesn't matter too much about this bit of the door. Where are we coming to? We're coming up to the handle, aren't we?
might not, but it might. Well, that's gotten it. It's raining now. Oh well, take two didn't go according to plan either. But before I go ripping that mask and off, I'm going to leave at 20 minutes and see what happens. Right, we'll be back. Well, man cavers, rain tried to stop play, but we didn't let it defeat us. We put some sheets on some trestles over the side of the van. So looky, looky here, we have now got room. Room to work. So yes, this is good. So we can get some paint on and we're now shower proof. So yes, right. Let's get the paint done, and then we'll be back. So man cavers, as you can hear, compressor is going. And we have... The colour we're going to use in here. Now I don't know whether you're going to see this on camera. But we've got tons of it. So we want to do this about 50-50. So we've got sort of... 300 mil in there. Pop our cap back on. Now we want some thinners just to top that back up. Somewhere about there. The compressor's now blowing off, so we're up to temp. We're up to temperature, up to pressure. There's our base coat mixed up. That's the colour we're going for. A nice grey. So we've got two tone. Our man cave was not going to be defeated by the rain and the elements. Whoops. Second time in a row. We weren't doing this. So we want our paint strainers. From over here, plump one in there. Perfect. Dump him in there, dump him in the gun. Excellent. There. So, our paint in the gun. Let's get back round. All right, here we are. Mask up. And ready to see how we get on. That's all right.
There we go. That is a dust coat. That is just a dust coat. It's nowhere near covered, but it's a dust coat. So I don't know. So we need to get out about 10 minutes. Then we can get another coat on. Back in a minute. All right, I'll get masked up again. Second coat on. Right, we're back again. Where's my mask? Where's my mask? Let's get it on. There we go. Well, there we go, we're just about got our final coat on. 
But now we need to flick the paint about a bit so we don't get streaks. Because we're under what I'm doing, going up and down and everything. That's so we don't get lines in the paint. base coat on. So we need to leave that until that's matte. Then we can put the clear coat on. Back in on it. Right, we have our lacquer in the gun now. I think we're ready to put the first coat, a clear coat on. Well, she's just about dry. So I'm going to start at the back, work my way forward. I need to get masked up again, because this is the dodgy stuff. You know us, I close the gun right up, so I only got that much paint to roll. That's to put a good dust coat on. When I go on the next coat, I'll open this up two or three times, this bottom one, and that'll allow a bit of the paint flow so we can get a finish. But that's how you put the dust coat on. There we go. Let's see how much paint we've used. We've got that much left. Which should be enough for one more coat, so there you go. We'll let this flash off for a few minutes, and then we'll be back. Right, we are ready for one of our first cuts.
There we go. There is our first coat of shine. Ah, now I look better. So, well done, Pat. Another load in the gun. One more coat, and hopefully we'll have a good enough gun finish. Because I don't want to be flattening and polishing that. I'll tell you why. Because the rest of the van is not so good either. So that'll match in perfect. Ah. Absolutely marvellous. Here we go. Last coat. That is the final coat on. So, I guess the next time you'll see this, that'll be a couple of last time, we'll have this sheet off. See what that looks like. Back then, boys. Well, man cavers, I think that's it for today. I don't think we're going to quite get her uncovered quite so quick. But there she is. And hopefully, tell you what, Let's see. Whoa, wind is getting up. Let's see if we can just peel a bit off so you can actually see our transformation. I think we can get this paper off now. So I know you guys do love to see the unmasking, don't you? Well, I'm going to shut my Keiko and you can see exactly what we're done. This is where we don't want it to get in our paint. We really don't want this paper getting in our paint. Oh, we're getting close. We are close. This is my favourite bit, the unmasking. Because you get to see a little sort of glimpse of what you're left with. Just got this pin stripe to get off now. There we go. Oh, oh! I see a bit of overspray has bled through. Look. 
Do not panic, that will come off quite easily. Oh, she's looking good. She's looking really good. Oh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> this just gives you a little inkling of exactly what the finished result is going to be. Yeah. Get this one off. She's looking good. Ah, she's looking really good. That's pretty much our finished result. Oh, whoa, look at this. We've got a bit of tape still up here. There we go. There we go. Unmasked. That's what our two-tone scheme is going to be like. I hope you guys like it. Marvelous. There you go. I have noticed I've got a little run which we will have to flatten polish out but one little run on a 22 foot panel isn't too bad that's how long this van is she's 22 feet front to back so you're always going to get one run especially when you're spraying outside with bad lighting but that run there will come out we aren't too worried about that that's in the final coat but there you go with sticky fingers, I'm going to end the video and say thank you very much for watching. James, I hope you're still keeping them overalls clean, mate. Over there in Trimmingham. Mm. Right. Thank you very much, guys. There we go. That's the two-tone side of the daily. Just about done. Our paint finish is not too bad. As you can see, we ain't got a bad finish on there, so I'm happy with that. And there we go. All right, I'm calling it a day. I need to really wash my hands because they're covered in sticky now. And I will see you next time with our makeshift shelter blown in the wind. Bye bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha. There she is. You didn't think I could leave it there for you, did you? You really didn't think I was going to leave you? There. Uncovered. That is what our daily looks like in two-tone. And I, for one, am over the moon how she's come. Look at that. Absolutely love it. There we go. There we go. There is our two-tone daily. So, what's your guys' opinions? Do you like the silver, grey, black? Or would you have rather it had all been silver? But I think that looks really good. So, comment below what you think. If you like it. Or if you don't like it. There you go, either way. 
like and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time this is definitely it ha <laughs> ha bye bye for now haven't unmasked the door lock bye bye